Picture this, it's a cozy evening, the faint aroma of homemade apple pie wafting through the air as you sit on your well-worn, cushioned armchair. The flickering glow of your vintage television set casts a warm, nostalgic aura in the room. Then, the screen comes to life, and there she is, the epitome of grace and charm, Donna Reed, gracing your living room with her radiant smile. The year is 1958, and the Donna Reed show has just made its debut. In that moment, you might have felt a sense of connection with the Stone family, their relatable ups and downs serving as a mirror to your own life. Perhaps it was Donna's unwavering wisdom or the heartwarming dynamics within the Stone household that left an indelible mark on your memory. As we journey back to that enchanting era, let's uncover some captivating random facts about the Donna Reed show that will rekindle your fond memories and introduce you to some hidden gems. So, grab a seat and get ready to delve into the fascinating world of this timeless classic. During the 1958 TV series The Donna Reed Show, some interesting tidbits emerge from its history. While no substantial information is available about Carl Betts' role as a physician in the case of The Sunbather's Diary in the Season 1 Perry Mason show, there's another intriguing aspect to highlight. During the show's early years, scenes set in supermarkets featured products from its sponsors. These products included Campbell's Soup, V8 Juice, Franco-American Canned Goods, and various Johnson & Johnson products like Baby Powder. This practice was a common advertising strategy at the time, seamlessly integrating products into the show's narrative. Donna Reed, who portrayed Donna Stone in the series, had already made a mark in Hollywood before her television career. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1953 for her role in the film From Here to Eternity. This accomplishment showcased her talent and versatility as an actress, which she later brought to the Donna Reed Show. In summary, while some aspects of the 1958 TV series The Donna Reed Show remain elusive, its early sponsorship integrations and Donna Reed's impressive film career provide intriguing insights into the show's history. Dream, 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 dream. The Donna Reed Show was a TV series that helped set the standard for family-oriented sitcoms in the late 1950s and early 1960s. It contributed to the development of television programming focused on domestic life. The show featured Donna Reed as Donna Stone, a loving wife and mother, and Carl Betts as her husband, Dr. Alex Stone. Together, they portrayed a wholesome and idealized American family. The show's depiction of family values and everyday challenges resonated with audiences of the time. One notable aspect of the show was the character of Mary Stone, played by Shelley Fabers. In contrast to her wholesome image on the show, Mary experienced some teenage rebellion in select episodes, reflecting the changing dynamics of family life in the 1960s. This added depth to the series and made it more relatable to a changing society. Behind the scenes, Donna Reed had a significant role in the production of the series. She was an uncredited producer, and the series was produced by her and then-husband Tony Owens' production company, Todd On of California. This involvement allowed her to have creative input and shape the show's direction. In summary, The Donna Reed Show was a pioneering TV series that contributed to the rise of family-oriented sitcoms. It portrayed an idealized American family while also addressing the changing dynamics of the 1960s. Donna Reed's role as an uncredited producer further added to the show's success. The Donna Reed Show, a popular TV series that aired in 1958, left its mark on television history in several notable ways. One interesting fact is that the show's living room set had a second life in the world of TV. After the Donna Reed show concluded, the same living room set was repurposed and used as Major Nelson's living room on I Dream of Jeannie. It also made appearances as the Mitchell family's living room in Dennis the Menace, and was featured several times in the show Hazel. This recycling of TV sets highlights the practical and economic aspects of television production during that era. Another noteworthy aspect of the show was its early form of product placement. Chevrolet was a sponsor of the Donna Reed Show, and this partnership was prominently displayed in various episodes. The family's car, a Chevrolet Impala, was frequently seen in the driveway. This demonstrates how advertising and branding have been intertwined with television programming for decades. Furthermore, the Donna Reed Show had a significant influence on 1960s fashion, particularly in terms of women's clothing. Donna Reed's character was considered a style icon of the era. 
Her character's fashion choices and elegant wardrobe became a source of inspiration for many women, reflecting the show's cultural impact beyond the screen. In conclusion, The Donna Reed Show not only entertained audiences, but also had a lasting impact on television production, advertising, and fashion trends of the 1960s. Its versatile set, early form of product placement, and influence on fashion make it a noteworthy piece of television history. In 1958, the Donna Reed Show graced American television screens, becoming a beloved family sitcom. However, the show made waves not only for its wholesome content, but for a groundbreaking storyline involving Shelley Fabers, who played the character Mary Stone. Fabers, while portraying Mary Stone, faced a real-life pregnancy. In a pioneering move for television at the time, the show decided to incorporate her pregnancy into the storyline. This decision marked one of the earliest instances of a pregnancy storyline on television. It was a bold move, as television was still exploring the boundaries of what could be portrayed on screen. This decision resonated with viewers, as it showcased a real-life aspect of family dynamics rarely seen on TV. It allowed the show to remain relatable and authentic, reinforcing its status as a family favorite. Moreover, Shelley Fabers didn't just make waves on the show. She achieved considerable success in the music industry during her time on The Donna Reed Show. She recorded hit songs, including the chart-topping Johnny Angel, which reached no one on the Billboard Hot 100. This dual success in acting and music solidified her status as a multi-talented entertainer. In summary, the Donna Reed Show of 1958 pushed boundaries by incorporating Shelley Faber's real-life pregnancy into its storyline pioneering the portrayal of pregnancy on television. Additionally, Faber's success in the music industry added to the show's legacy. It remains a testament to the show's ability to connect with audiences on multiple levels. Paul Peterson, teen idol turned advocate in the 1958 TV series The Donna Reed Show, Paul Peterson played Jeff Stone, a character that propelled him into teen idol status. His heartthrob appeal resonated with audiences, making him a household name during his time on the show. However, Peterson's journey didn't end with fame. After his stint as Jeff Stone, Paul Peterson founded a minor consideration, an organization dedicated to supporting child actors. He recognized the unique challenges they faced in the entertainment industry. A minor consideration aimed to provide guidance and assistance to young performers, addressing issues like education, finances, and the transition to adult life. Paul Peterson's transformation from teen idol to advocate exemplifies the complex experiences of child actors in Hollywood. His commitment to helping others in the industry demonstrates a deeper purpose beyond the glitz and glamour of television. In the Donna Reed show, Paul Peterson's character may have been a heartthrob, but his real-life work as an advocate for child actors is a lasting legacy that goes beyond the small screen. The dark toll of stardom, mental health battles, and suicide in the lives of the Donna Reed Show's cast members in the glittering world of vintage Hollywood. The 1958 TV series The Donna Reed Show shone bright. But beyond the smiles and glamour, a shadow loomed over the lives of its cast members. This is the story of the dark toll of stardom, mental health battles, and the tragic suicides that marred the legacy of this beloved show. Behind the scenes, the cast members of the Donna Reed Show navigated a world of ruthless bargaining and hidden agendas. The cutthroat nature of Hollywood often placed immense pressure on these actors, shaping their careers in ways not always evident to the public eye. The weight of expectations hung heavy over the cast members, as their personal lives became intertwined with their on-screen personas. Affairs, scandals, and controversies often spilled into their professional lives, altering audience expectations and impacting the storytelling of the show. Beyond the glitz of the red carpet, the lives of the Donna Reed show cast members were marred by dark incidents. These incidents, sometimes hidden from the public, left lasting scars on the actors and challenged their ability to maintain the facade of Hollywood perfection. Yet, amid the pressures and expectations, some cast members defied the norms of their time, shattering stereotypes and leaving a mark on Hollywood that extended beyond their roles in the show. Their stories of resilience and courage serve as a reminder that stardom doesn't always follow a predictable script. Mental health battles and suicide were harsh realities for some of the Donna Reed Show's cast members. The pressures of fame, coupled with personal struggles, pushed them to the brink. 
Their tragic stories highlight the need for greater understanding and support for those in the spotlight. In the end, The Donna Reed Show was not just about the characters on screen, but also the complex lives of its cast members. Their journeys, filled with ambition, turmoil, and triumph, reveal the price of fame in the golden age of Hollywood. 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 As we bid adieu to the world of The Donna Reed Show, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and reflection. This iconic 1958 television series, which graced our screens with its timeless charm, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment history. But what does it mean to you? The Donna Reed Show was more than just a show. It was a glimpse into an era of grace, family values, and the pursuit of dreams. It beckons us to ponder the values that transcended time, the lessons learned, and the heartwarming moments that made us laugh, cry, and cherish the essence of family. Now, it's your turn to share your personal connection with this classic series. Were you touched by Donna Stone's unwavering devotion to her family? Did you find yourself inspired by her style, her grace, or her unyielding determination to balance it all? Perhaps you recall a favorite episode, a poignant scene, or a character that you hold dear. Whatever it may be, we invite you to share your treasured memories and thoughts about the Donna Reed Show. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of this beloved series, and it's a testament to the enduring power of television to touch our hearts and souls across generations. Your words may resonate with others who share your sentiments, forging new connections and igniting fresh discussions about this timeless gem. Thank you for taking the time to reflect on your personal connection with The Donna Reed Show. Your insights are a testament to the enduring legacy of this remarkable series, and we are grateful for your interest and passion. So, let your thoughts flow freely, and let's keep the spirit of the Donna Reed Show alive through our shared memories and reflections. We look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the nostalgia alive, and let's continue to celebrate the magic of television's golden era. Warm regards. Warm regards. Warm